Hey guys, this is one of the computers that was part of the Craigslist haul that I featured in my previous video. And I'm going to start to take a look at these individual computers and see what we got. Uh, this particular one seems to be the newest one of the bunch. Uh, it definitely looks like somebody put this together and probably not uh, bought this off the shelf anyways. So I'll uh, crack this open, let's see what we got, and uh, we'll fire it up and see what it tells us. Let's get started. Here's the front of the computer. There's a uh, DVD RW in the front. Uh, power and reset switch. And if you can see in there, there's a couple of USB drive, excuse me, USB plugs and a firewire. And it looks like this case, at least in the front, there would have been a door here. You can kind of see the pegs there. And this would have probably swung this way. But there's no, um, at least in the pile of stuff that I was looking at, I didn't see the door. It might be there in one of the boxes. I'll have to take a look. But um, you know, other than that, it's actually a pretty nice looking case, I think. Alright, so I've got this thing on its side. It's a pretty cool uh, mesh cover here. It says Ultra. And uh, let's take this off. And actually, before we look in there, the, uh, like a little, uh, uh, what would you call that? I guess a vent or something, I don't know. But a directional pipe there for um, for cooling, which is kind of neat. So what do we have here? So this is kind of interesting, this power supply. Um, flat cables, which is kind of nice for cable management, I guess. Don't know what's underneath here. Um, and we've got a couple of sticks of memory. Uh, it's kind of hard to see there, but it looks like 512 meg sticks. So it's a gig of memory. Okay, we've got some PCI slots, uh, PCI Express 16x, it looks like. A couple of PCIe slots, and there's a video card in here. And this is an ASUS board, but I can't find a model number anywhere. Uh, we've got SATA plugs here, and a SATA hard drive. I just don't know what size that is. And the uh, DVD RW up top, which is IDE. Case is actually pretty clean, not very dusty. It's actually really clean, which is surprising. Um, pretty neat looking case, actually, overall. Um, nice um, uh, edges, there are no sharp edges here anyway, or doesn't look like it. Really nice, really clean. I think we got a, a winner here. Check out what I found taped to the bottom of the case here. It's a three and a half inch floppy that says flash in BIOS. All right, so I got everything hooked up here and I'm gonna power it up and let's see what happens. So it's an A8N SLI motherboard. Hmm. Definitely a gig of memory which we looked at before. Let's see if this tells us how big this is. Eh, only 160 gig. Uh, not humongous, but not uh, not terrible. Ah, it's an AMD Athlon 64. 2.2 gigahertz not so shabby I don't think all right now we're rebooting and we'll let it go and see what happens here so it's definitely XP the hard drive is spinning 
and it's still going. <laughs> there it goes. Alright, that XP Pro. And of course password. Alright, I think this is probably where we're gonna cut it because I, I don't know what the password is. Alright, I'm gonna try one last thing before I call it quits and I'm gonna see if I can't get into Windows safe mode. In the past, I've been able to sort of bypass any kind of login mechanism because either the administrator password isn't set, or or that's normally what happens, I guess. But let's see if that um, that'll work in this case. All right, let's try. We're going to change this to administrator with no password. <laughs> and that worked. What do you know? Well, so much for security. So let this be a lesson to uh, to everybody out there. So to uh, Dave, I guess, <laughs> and anybody else, if you're gonna sell your computers on Craigslist, either take your hard drive out or wipe it completely clean before you give it away. Because this is our horrible way for your info to get out there. And um, I'm going to change this password and now I should be able to get in. It's easy as that. So let me restart and log back in and we will see what we've got. Alright, so I rebooted and I was able to log in. And now I have complete access. <laughs> now, I'm not a malicious user. And so what I will do is I'll probably poke around here and uh, see what's on here. Software and that sort of thing. But I will um, uh, go in and wipe everything out. I won't uh, try and do anything bad with this. Uh, with uh, anything here. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, have a uh, have a good one. Thanks for watching.